Okay, we have the proximal anterior thigh and we're going to scan for the hip joint. So my probe is placed roughly centrally on the thigh and then I'm going to move prox in a proximal direction until eventually what I'll see is a bony contour which is here and that's the uh, femoral head. And when we have found the femoral head, we firmly place that into the center of the image and then we can see the iliopsoas muscle lying over here uh, and that's your sort of wet reference point where you can see it very clearly. You can see the femoral artery more medial to it as well and then you know that you have your correct landmarks. Now as we discussed before we then have to angulate the probe for the longitudinal image so that we get the right image uh, when we scan it. So we're going to turn the probe and that's what I'm doing right now. And then I have to dig in with my probe. So the distal end, you can see, is quite firmly planted into uh, the thigh. And then you can see the anterior recess of the joint here, overlying the bony structure. So you can see the femoral head, yeah, and then the neck, and then the anterior joint recess. On top of that, iliopsoas is very clearly visualized here and that's basically the main features of this scan.